Albert and Albion had a night to forget during their Carabao Cup semi-final first leg against Manchester City. It was always going to be a long evening for the League One side, but nobody expected such a crushing scoreline with the citizens romping their way to a 9-0 win. Kevin De Bruyne set the tone by heading home the opening goal after just five minutes, only for Burton to jangle a fuse nerves in the Etihad Stadium with a brilliant opportunity through Jamie Allen. From that point onwards, though, the game simply wasn't competitive and City began to produce the joint largest victory of Pep Guardiola's managerial career. Gabriel Jesus helped himself to four goals for the first time as a professional, while Oleksandr Zinglenko broke his duck for the citizens with a fortuitous cross-come shot. Phil Foden bagged his third goal of the season, with Kyle Walker and Riyad Mahrez also penning their names on a busy scorey sheet. Funnily enough, the result means that the second leg at the Piley Stadium is somewhat redundant, with Burton requiring a sporting miracle to overturn the deficit. But there was still pride on the line for the Burton players who had done so brilliantly to reach this stage, defeating teams like Burnley and Middlesbrough on their way to the Final Four. So, even in the closing minutes in Manchester, they were doing all they could to avoid another goal and particularly from shipping a double-digit scoreline. And it seems goalkeeper Bradley Collins was rather enthusiastic about dodging a 10-0 thrashing, with the Chelsea loanee seemingly time-wasting during the final moments. Football fans couldn't help noticing that Collins was taking his time from goal kicks after the ninth goal, leading them to believe that he was trying to slow down the City onslaught. Doing keepy ups and drinking from his bottle in the goal net, fans were making the same observation across Twitter. Check out the pic of the tweets below. To be fair, we can hardly blame him. Even though Collins could have done nothing about the wide scoreline, it makes sense for him to throw off City's momentum and conceding 10 goals would have drawn even larger publicity. So, in working so well at preventing double figures, it's difficult to criticize Collins with the same kind of comments you would get with conventional time wasting. The 21-year-old even maintained the practice deep into stoppage time, with the referee blowing the final whistle early because the Burton man was taking so long over a goal kick. The Brewers have another two weeks before their clash with Premier League opposition and upcoming games with Doncaster Rovers and Gillingham may offer a confidence boost. A scoreline of 9-0 certainly was pretty brutal, but it was valiant effort from the League One side. Who do you think will win the Carabao Cup this season? Have your say in the comments section below.